But you know, have you ever thought about that? Like, when someone says they don't give a fuck, like, if that motherfucker doesn't give a fuck, Got it. that's a bad motherfucker. <laughs> I ain't done cardio regular in a long time. So I, just now I got a whole bunch of emails and clients' plans and stuff that I'm backed up on. It just hit me why. I used to do this shit during, uh, during cardio. So I used to do fucking an hour of that shit. So I could catch up on all my emails and messages. It's the reason why I got so many damn fucking messages. I don't want to text and I don't want to call. It's just if you see me, you see me. We could just, uh, we could discuss what you need then. <laughs> Man, about three months ago, that shit was really hard. Like, level one, no, nowhere near the force or range of motion from this knee. Kind of cool to <laughs> simple shit that makes you happy. Come on, level ten, baby. Just don't bang my knee. <laughs> Feels so good to get a pump. It's gonna be a good day. surrounding body parts than just the quad and the, the hamstring. So when I, I have enough power when I get back to full go, I'm not worried about my, my hips or my growing or anything like that, suffering. So, I mean, my PT told me, you know, you gotta focus on at least the hips. Because when like knees and toes and backs and stuff like that, those are usually the things that take over. So, here I am. So Listen, so I'm not worried about if I'm gonna get back in shape or not. Take, take a look at the leg room at Chief Fitness. I'm not worried about it. We got some of the best shit in the country, for sure. Except for that shit. Fuck that shit. So special. Special. I'm trying to uh, just kind of use lightweight get a bunch of blood in there, kind of focus on connecting with what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna go up a little bit heavier, try to challenge myself. My hamstrings are good, but even though I got an injury and stuff, like I still wanna to try to keep the intensity of, on what I can can do. And then we'll kind of switch to quads and that's when we'll do a lot of focus unilateral stuff. But my hamstrings are pretty solid. They've, they've been pretty strong. So I'm gonna kill them. Like six two or something like that. I just gotta do that for all you short people out there to get offended. I don't want you to get offended. These big strong asses on this.
Check out that good form. I'm tired of that. Represent Tashi. Starting to come back a little bit. Team division, adult division. Oh, look out now. It's hard to look at. Normally they say like you start with your, uh, with your injured side or whatever body part that you have, and then you kind of match it with the, with the non-injured side. Me, I try to like kind of get a feel for what I'm doing. So obviously I go to the non-injured side first, just kind of put it in my head how it should feel. And then you'll see me start with the, with the injured side now, even though I ended with it. And that's just for me to kind of so remind myself how the motion should go. Oh, did I hit it? Oh shit. <laughs> I'll be careful. <laughs> You could do that on your own. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Big strong love, baby. All right, all right, I'm gonna try to go, we'll go uh, with both feet on now. And I'll see how it is. I mean, I'm not even trying to put a whole bunch of weight on. Now it's just trying to get the stabilizers back get the uh, muscles kind of firing and everything together. This is my, I think my fifth leg day since we, since I got the clear from the, from the dock. So, I'm not in a rush. I'm just excited to be doing this. It, it's been a long time to feel anything, so. Here we go. Part of the workout at the end. I mean, I'm still focusing on form, but just kind of get, get it get it done, really. Like, kind of ignore the pain a little bit and uh, just say fuck it and go, go kind of hard. So I can, at the end of the day, feel like I did something. Even though, I mean, I am getting a lot of production, I still want to feel like exhausted and I, like got my ass kicked at the end of the day of my workout, so. Still kind of controlling myself, I just I'm going all out. 
Yeah, that hurts a little bit, but kind of stop thinking and just go through the motions. You find out that you could, you're okay. Part of me just wants to shut my brain off and just exercise. I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I'm pretty happy just walking, to be completely honest. I'm not, I'm not doing this to necessarily get back on stage. I'm gonna work out regardless. This is just part of my fucking livelihood. I wanna be able to do what I want. And lifting weights and doing shit like that keeps me happy.